I want to talk about you guys' podcast, Defeating the Curse. When you, when, you, when you started this, did you ever think that it would only take a couple of years before the curse was broken? Do we now rename the podcast? We, we are actively trying to figure out what to do with the title because we didn't anticipate it would fall in a year. Sure. But it has, right? The curse has been broken, and, and you know we could get really into the specifics and say, well, only one team broke through. But for us, you know, we've grown up here our entire lives. A win for one is a win for all. So yeah. the curse is, we're done with that. But what we're going to call it now, I have no idea. Well, well maybe this is me talking myself out of being unemployed here. But <laughs> I think the curse starts with and ends with the Redskins. I okay. think this curse is Redskins based. It is Redskins Even though it's been, based. it's been longer for the Caps to get that championship yes. than it's been for the Redskins. Yes, but the, the last time this city won was in 92 with the Redskins. And ever since then, it's been downhill since a particular owner took over. So we're going to talk about the Redskins. We're going to talk about the Nats here in just a second. But first, I want to play off of what we heard from TJ Oshie there. Back to back, back to oh, back. Let's do it. I mean, we've got the NHL draft coming up on the 23rd. A lot of these players on this team are going to be free agents. All of the dominoes will start to fall when we figure out what happens with Coach Barry Trotz. Where do you guys see this going, and where do you see this team forming up next year? Will it look the same as the team right now? I'll tell you, for me, Trotz is, is the beginning and the end of this conversation. Uh, the coach means everything. He really does. And he was under a ton of pressure at the start of the season and throughout the season. Uh, the team didn't necessarily perform up to his standard. Um, he didn't get his extension. They agreed to revisit it at the end of the season. To me, this whole conversation starts and ends with him. Um, and DSP is a close second. I, I really, what he brought to the team this, this season, especially during this, this fantastic playoff run, is, is truly unmatched. And, and he, he's a guy that I would love to see back as well. Steve, is the team going to look different? I think the team's going to look slightly different. I think the nucleus will still be there, but I think what this Caps management team has shown is that they can tweak and retool, and they can build around their nucleus. They can, you know, mid-season moves, Verana, Kepney, Connolly, I mean, these guys they bring in with this nucleus of Ovechkin, Carlson, and Backstrom. They should be right there again next year. Another, another, team, actively, another team actively looking for their first championship, the Nats. Do they have what it takes to go to the World Series this oh, year? Go Steve first on this one. No, I mean, this team has everything. I mean, hopefully they saw these caps on Saturday, you know, Ovi hoisting the cup at Nats Park, and they're ready to get over the hump. I mean, I think what the success that this caps team has had, the Nats should look at themselves and say, why not us? Yeah. You know, they're just as talented and just as loaded as this team. They've got the dog days of summer ahead of them, but as long as they keep everyone healthy, they can pull this off. And then, and then how about the Redskins? We're going to see a, a preseason start before we know it. I think the Redskins are interesting. I mean, they're never that far off you know, the path, so to speak. I mean, we saw this through all of the Kirk Cousins years, you know, as a starter. The, the team was competitive. And, you know, to get into the curse talk, you know, something goes a little different against New Orleans, something goes a little different in London against uh, the Bengals, I think it was. And they make the playoffs two, three consecutive seasons. So I think the pieces are there, especially defensively. They had a fantastic draft as well. The question is going to be Alex Smith, what he brings to the team. Can he kind of continue to move the offense forward? And, and Darius Geis and the pieces that they drafted look phenomenal so far. And, and back to the Caps, just for our last question here. Do you think this championship is now a conversation starter, perhaps for Ted Leonsis, and, and talking about a new arena for both the Wizards and the Caps? I 100%. I think this is something we've seen him talk about bringing the Olympics to D.C. Uh, I think he's got all the, 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 the goodwill and capital of the people right now. Uh, maybe I don't know if he's actually going to get that new building that he maybe desires so much, but maybe it gets refurbished. Maybe it just yeah. gets, uh, you know, we get some lipstick on it, make it a little bit more modern. I mean, that's 20 years old now. Yeah. If there was ever a time to talk new stadium, I mean, this is the most pull that Leonsis has, you know, had in years. This team has cultivated and, and taken the heart of this city, and this is going to become a hockey town. And that's another conversation yeah. for another day, but... You know, the Redskins bringing a lot of new fans into the fold. Absolutely, with this championship. and, and yeah. young fans like our, our children will grow up yeah. talking about this the way we talked about those skins championships. Yeah. Listen, Joe Azer, Steve Messa from the Defeating the Curse podcast, perhaps soon to be renamed podcast. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate you guys coming in to talk about this. Thanks Thank so you much. so much, John. Thank All you. Right.